Are you considering running a dual PC setup? Tired of your model constantly lagging as it fights for resources? Tired of running your games on Schmedium or low just to be able to stream? Tired of something going completely wrong and having to restart your stream entirely? Have no fear, Goshiro with Answers is here. I'm a VTuber who's been working to optimize my streams for three years now. And this is something that I know a lot of people out there can benefit from. I've gotten so comfortable with streaming because of the time and effort it took to research and change my setup in a way that works best for me. Using your PC as your gaming and streaming PC can be very taxing on resources. You're constantly having to juggle between games and what is required for VTube Studio to run properly. Not only that, but any kind of troubleshooting usually requires some type of restart, whether that's VTube Studio or even your entire PC. Which means, um, I think I have to restart stream, guys. I'll be right back. Which can be embarrassing. Oh. Depending on the complexity of your model and how your streaming software is set up, you are really limited on what you are capable of doing if you are working with a PC that isn't exactly next gen. You're basically expecting your current PC to run two games at once all the time. If you have a low tier or mid gaming PC, you can have a much better experience with offloading all of that work onto a dedicated streaming PC. This way, your gaming PC can do what it's best at, to game, giving you a much better gaming experience and allowing you to enjoy what you're playing, especially if you're a competitive gamer. I need those frames, baby! Separating these resources can solve a lot of your problems, and this video will give you an easy rundown of what you'll need to get started. If we are using your current PC as a gaming PC, what do you need in a streaming PC? This is what I suggest. A desktop or laptop with an i5 9th gen or higher CPU or equivalent AMD processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, more is better, a dedicated graphics card with at least four gigabytes of VRAM. I run off of these specs on a Lenovo Legion and run into very little issues. You could probably operate on something with a little less power, but that would just put you back in the same position of limiting your ability to add more things in OBS, do things to your model while streaming, or even capture high quality clips instead of relying on post compression Twitch clips for social media content. Now, how do we set up? I probably need to download a bunch of software and learn PC jargon, right? Wrong. Let's start with video. The process is more simple than you think, and we can simplify it by picturing how console gamers stream. In a typical scenario, you would have an Xbox or PlayStation hooked up to your TV, then use a capture card, for this example, we're using an Elgato HD 60S Plus, to take the video feed and send it to your streaming PC, which would then broadcast it to Twitch or YouTube. The process is no different if you imagine your current gaming PC as a console. Your GPU feeds into your gaming monitor, and you'd hijack that feed using the same Elgato tech to send it to your streaming PC. You would have to tell your GPU via your NVIDIA control panel to mimic the display being sent and send it to the capture card. We have solved the issue with sending video to an external device to broadcast. Next would be the case of audio. You could just connect a headset to your gaming PC, but then you would stop the audio from going to the streaming PC, and thus your viewers. How do we fix that? You are done listening to your gaming PC forever. On the gaming rig, you would set your audio to be sent to the capture device you are using to hijack the video feed. But Goshi, how do I listen to the audio if it's being sent to my streaming PC? We are now going to use what is known as monitoring through OBS or whatever streaming software you are using. First, add the video source as your Elgato capture card. Then set up an audio capture source as the Elgato as well. We would go to the audio mixer, either click the cog wheels or the three dots next to an audio source and select advanced audio properties. This brings up an audio table where you can tell where an audio source is going. Find the audio source that is your Elgato and select monitor and output. This sends the audio to your streaming PC's output 
aka your headphones, but it would also send it to the streaming platform. With this, we have solved the issue with audio. You can now simply hit the streaming button and start appreciating playing games at the highest quality possible. But Goshi, we are VTubers. That's freaking right we are. The first hurdle I ran into is that VTube Studio operates through Steam, which as you know, if you're playing a game on your gaming PC through Steam, you're not able to play any other game if you are signed into the same Steam account on the streaming PC. It will tell you that you are playing a game on one or the other and not start. You would automatically deduce that you would create a new Steam account, then purchase another instance of VTube Studio, which is one way of doing it. This is the preferred method if you want to use the collab feature in VTube Studio that allows for you to use the Steam network and collab with your VTube friends in the same space. But you could bypass Steam altogether by running the program without Steam. What? But Goshi, that's impossible! No, it isn't. If you're just trying to VTube and don't want to buy VTube Studio again, you can navigate to the file in Steam by right-clicking VTube Studio and selecting Browse Local Files. This will bring up File Explorer, and one of the files listed here is startwithoutsteam.bat. Right-click this file and select Create Shortcut and move it to your desktop. When you open the file on your desktop, it will then boot up VTube Studio without starting Steam, solving this issue. At this point, you already know how to add VTube Studio to OBS, and you would treat the rest of the steps as if you were operating on just your gaming PC. Add your mic, add in your browser sources and alerts, and voila! You start streaming and VTube Studio will not be hindered by any other processes, and your gaming PC will deliver the optimal gaming experience. If your gaming PC were to crash or act up, it will not hinder your streaming, since in this case of the console setup, it's just providing video footage, giving you the opportunity to resolve any technical issues while keeping the stream going. I hope this video helps those of you wanting to invest more into their VTubing careers. And if you could please subscribe to the channel and follow me on other platforms. What other tips would be helpful? Let me know in the comments below. Love you and don't let your dreams be dreams.